In this tutorial, I show you how to create a double exposure effect in Photoshop using a portrait and a photo with some pine trees. The final result is really amazing, so join me and I will show you step by step how you can achieve this. You will need two photos to create this effect in Photoshop. I have a portrait of this model posing to the camera and this photo with some pine trees which is a bit boring but it's very important for my composition. To obtain a nice double exposure effect, you will need to have a white background behind your subject, so I'm going to be using the pen tool to make a selection around the model. You can hit the P on the keyboard and then start making the selection. I will not teach you how to use the pen tool this time, I assume you know this already, so I'm speeding up the video a bit until my selection is ready. I'm using the pen because it's a very precise tool in Photoshop, but I want to ask you, which tool is your favorite when making selections? Please leave your answers in the comment section below the video. Ok, I'm done with the selection, I'm gonna right click and choose Make Selection. I'm gonna create a layer mask to get rid of the background, so I'm clicking this icon to create a layer mask. The background is hidden now, but you can enable it at any point if you click on the layer mask while holding down the shift key. And because we used the pen tool to create the selection, Photoshop has recorded the pen tool path and it's located here in the paths tab. You can see it here. It's called working path. So if I lose my selection, I can always come back here and re-enable it by holding down control and clicking on it. You see, the selection is back again. I'm going back to the layers panel because here is the important part of this tutorial. Let's rename this layer to model. In the end, I want to have a white background behind the model, so what I will do now is to create a new adjustment layer called Solid Color. Just choose white here and then click OK. Right, if I look in the Layers panel, my background is on top of the model layer, so I will drag it down to the bottom and rename it Background. Good. Next step, I will add a black and white adjustment above the model layer. Now it's time to bring the photo with the trees into my document. Just choose the Move tool and drag this image right here. If the photo with the trees is bigger than this document, you will have to resize it. Hold down the Shift when you scale it down to maintain the proportions. When you're done, just press Enter. Let's rename this layer to Trees. And then with the layer still selected, I will choose the Screen Blending Mode. Now, what I need to do with an image like this is to create contrast between the trees and the sky. So I need to make the sky brighter, the trees darker, and also I need to convert this image to black and white. I will add a black and white adjustment layer and I'm gonna clip it to the trees layer. This means I only apply this effect to the layer underneath. And I have some presets here, they can be tested, but I will choose this one. High Contrast Blue Filter. Let's do a quick before and after just to see what I've just done here. So with this adjustment layer, I just got rid of the green areas down here, I created more contrast and the screen blending mode is doing the job really well. If I put this layer on normal, you can see the difference immediately. Basically, I have a high contrast black and white image with some trees. I will put this back to screen blending mode now. The next thing to do is to move the trees until I find the best spot in the head area, right here. I make sure the trees layer is selected, I grab the move tool and I move left, right, up and down until I'm happy with the result. You can also use the keyboard arrows to move the image and if you want to move it faster, hold down shift and press the arrow keys. So let's try something like this. It looks great. Now I want to take care of this area right here, the head of the model is still visible in the background. You can see it as a light grey and also here I can see the edge of the trees layer because I just moved the layer so I need to fix these two things now. I will add a levels adjustment layer, clip it to the black and white layer by holding down Alt or Option on a Mac or by right clicking on the layer and choosing Create Clipping Mask. You need to drag this highlights slider to the left while keeping an eye 
at the grey area where the head is. Make sure you go just until the grey disappears. Don't go too far because you will affect the trees as well and you don't want that. Ok, this is solved now. I will rename this layer and call it Head. So let's repair the neck area now. I am adding a new levels adjustment and I will drag the midpoint slider to the right until I see that the white edge on the neck slowly disappears. But I don't want to apply this adjustment on the whole trees layer. I want to apply it only on the neck area, so I will use the layer mask now. I'll invert it to make it black, so the effect is not visible, and I will grab the brush tool. I reset the background and foreground colors by pressing D, and then I press X to have the white as a foreground color. I lower the flow to 10 or 15% and then I brush over this area here slowly until the edges will be gone. And also I brush over some unwanted parts on the neck, so with this levels adjustment I affected a custom area just here on the neck. Let's rename this layer and call it Neck. Now if I zoom in here I can see the ear of the model and I want to hide this, so make sure you select the model layer Add a Curves adjustment, create a point here and drag it down to darken the image. The Curves adjustment already has a layer mask, so I invert it to black by pressing Ctrl plus I. And then I take a white brush and hide this part here. I think it looks better now. The ear was a bit distracting, honestly. Let's take a look at the whole image before making the final adjustments by pressing Ctrl and 0 to fit on screen. And by the way, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. It's appreciated. Thanks. Ok, it's time for tips and tricks now. If I click on the background layer where I have pure white and I try to choose a light grey, look what happens. I can start seeing parts of the trees layer near the model and that looks so cool and I will leave it like this. If you like the look of the image now, you can stop here, it looks great, but I would love to color grade it a bit. Maybe some brown in the shadows and some light blue in the highlights. I'm selecting the neck layer because I'm adding a gradient map layer which will go right on top of this one. And I will rename it Color Grading. Let's choose some nice colors here. For the shadows, I will write in 84562E. And for the highlights, 9BF7EB. Hit OK and I will put this layer on soft light blending mode. You can see the difference if you hide and unhide the color grading layer. It makes a big difference and I hope you like it too. So this is the final look, the final image. If you have questions or if you have anything else to say about this video, please use the comment section below and please share this video.